Now, the third on this list of um, core targets is O, which stands for openers, right? But as I would fondly want to call them, powerful openers. Okay, powerful openers. Now, what are openers? Openers are words or phrases used um, to begin a sentence, okay? Um, we know the regular openers, the popular ones, when we want to begin our stories, right? Uh, a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Or, once upon a time. Once upon a time. We know that. But that's cliche. That's um, old-fashioned. Um, there are more interesting ways you can open a story, more unpredictable ways you can open paragraphs or sentences that would captivate your readers. And that's the thing. That it would really, really improve your writing. And um, there is um, a set of letters, uh, acronyms, that helped us with this, um, known as I... S P A C E I space where I stands for I N G words S stands for similes P for prepositions A for adverbs C for conjunctions And E for E, D words. Okay? Now, using any of these, you can actually, you can actually come up with more, more, more interesting openers. For example, if we were to use this, okay? Uh, shaken, shaken terribly. The boy approached the window. ING. Shaken terribly, the boy approached the window. Okay, that's one very nice. I think I like this. Okay. Um, S. Simile. We can use similes. Now, we know similes are um, words that compare, um, comparing words, um, if I would say that uh, you, you use like or you use as. So when you compare two things, objects together, um, as agile as a monkey, um, he was, he roared like a lion. So those are examples of similes. Now you can even use similes to open your sentences. Okay, um, for example, he charged, okay, uh, no, like it go, like a raging bull, the man charged into the Shop. Like a raging bull, the man charged. So now this opener, like a raging bull, I'm just gonna continue. Shaking terribly. Now ing shaking terribly. That's I can just that's an opener. Uh, like a raging bull. I just I just want to continue. The man charged into the shop. But well, remember, take note of the openers. Like a raging bull. You see, you can continue. It's an opener. It opens the sentence or what you want to write about, okay? What you want to write about. Then we can also use um, P, prepositions. Okay, prepositions has to do um, positional language, if I want to use that. Positional language, um, positioning in respect to the objects, um, like um, behind, before, under, underneath, Things like that, okay? So I could now go um, behind the clouds. Behind the clouds, 
hid the now this is the opening behind the clouds I cannot continue behind the clouds hid the sun from the blurring view of onlookers you know the idea is rather than oh the man now went to the shop and when he got to the shop he now he now did what no behind the clouds hit the sun now when you have these options your write-ups will definitely improve and will be a lot more enthralling that's a wow vocabulary for uh, interesting okay okay um a a adverbs now the use of adverbs very very important now um adverbs especially when you want to begin you can go with the adverbs that end with um, um l y okay so you go um let me use this word anxiously anxiously the man clapped okay so the adverb here is what anxiously anxiously the man or anxiously the girl lunged for yes and anxiously the girl grabbed the man by the head <laughs> so so that's the idea now that's an adverb you can use an adverb to begin or to open your sentence okay um conjunctions that's very um easy okay um conjunctions um uh, let's see um uh, after he opened his eyes after he opened his eyes after he opened his eyes he started talking or something after he opened his eyes he started talking okay so after so we're looking at the conjunction here after okay so uh, the last one ed you have this ed words exhausted 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 the little girl fell asleep exhausted the little girl fell asleep that's an ed word come on it can't get easier than that when you do this you will definitely have powerful openers